Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video segment, I'm going to show you how to replace the transmission filter in a 2010 3500 Chevrolet Express van. If you're not a subscriber, just hit that button over to the right, become a subscriber right away. So let's get started. Tools we're going to use, we're going to use a 3.8 ratchet, with an extension, with a 10 millimeter socket. And you can use an air ratchet, whichever you prefer. I'm gonna have one bolt on each side. Just leave that in there. So at the end, I just deal with those two and just try to pull the pan down evenly. You may make a little of a mess removing the oil pan. That's okay. Just move it to the front side. Just gonna move from the back side. trying to do is just hold it straight up. I'm going to remove the two bolts that I left on each side. Now I'm going to remove the last bolt. There we go. Now Just going to try to bring it down evenly. And just let it drain a little bit. Here's our transmission filter. And we're just going to just make sure your drain pan is right underneath. And we're just going to just wiggle it loose. Here's our inside of our transmission pan. And so far, so good. One thing you do not want to see is metal shavings inside of it. And there's none around the, the magnet. You got a magnet here. You want to clean this magnet. And that magnet is clean. When I say clean, I mean no metal shavings whatsoever. That's perfect. All right, we just want to clean that up. And we're going to clean our magnet. So now that we clean the pan, we're just going to pull down the, the gasket. And this gasket can be used over again. Wipe along the base. Well, we have cleaned up the pan and we have wiped off the, the gasket. So what now you wanna do? We have cleaned the magnet and we're gonna put the magnet back in place. And we're just gonna put the gasket, reuse the, the current gasket. This gasket is made to last a lifetime. And you have a stud here on both sides, as you can see. And you also have a stud on the back side, on both sides. And just put it, it helps you to keep it in line. And keeps it in place while you put the pan back up on the transmission. This is the new gasket. Got it from Advanced Auto and has CarQuest labor on it. This is the filter. Yep, yeah, that's her. And the price. Now it's going to come with, of course, it has instructions here. And of course, you take time to read it. 
and it said this kit does not contain a gasket. That's because the gasket that you actually have, you can use over and over again. I like the way General Motors did that. And we also have a, a new sleeve. You can pull out your, your old sleeve inside your transmission and pop in your new sleeve. Or if you choose to do so, you can just use the current sleeve that's already in the transmission. That's totally up to you. Then we're gonna put our new filter back in. There we go. Fits right in like a glove. Put our transmission pan back on. So we'll put it right directly up. And those studs that's on the end of the gasket, take time with that just to make sure you actually have it inside the little holes there. Because if you don't have it inside the hole, and say if you actually bend it, bend the other end of the gasket, the little stud, it can actually probably leave a gap. And that can cause a potential leak. We don't want that. So just take your time with it. Now all we have to do is add back in our transmission fluid. And you're gonna find the dipstick located on the right side of the vehicle, right beside the engine oil dipstick. Just gonna put in our funnel and add our transmission fluid. Just wanna say if you are using conventional transmission fluid, you cannot mix that with synthetic. So if you're using synthetic, make sure you go back with synthetic because keep in mind, you still have transmission fluid inside of your torque converter and you cannot mix the two. Now we have added our transmission fluid and I'm gonna start the vehicle and check the vehicle with it running. And I'm gonna go through all of the gears with my foot on the brake and I'm just gonna go through the gears and check it again, put it in part and check it idle with it running. And we're just going to go through each gear. We need to add some cooling. We'll do that after we finish with the transmission. All right, let's see what we have. That's pretty good. And what we want to do is check for leaks. So far, so good. And make sure you do not over tighten these bolts because they will break. Well, all it took was six quarts for me to actually fill up the transmission. And you wanna check as you go. Uh, just start out with five and just check your transmission fluid. Do exactly what I did. Just go through the gears and um, your bolts, your transmission bolts, make sure you do not over tighten those bolts. That is very important because they will break. I hope this video was helpful. Do not forget to subscribe, take care, and God bless.